say that uh, just because the Red Sox were losing that game early last night, I get it. I understand why you might turn away from it a little bit, but more importantly right now is that we need people to get refocused because mm. we need to hit the school because if we don't hit the school, they don't have the research, and therefore – we're going to lose a lot more lives, and yep. we can't we can't afford to uh, to do that. Let me introduce you to Darren Kennedy. Yeah. Darren, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And uh, oh, he's got the KU uh, hat on. I read uh. here he's a uh, Kansas guy. He got the KU. Jayhawks. Uh, yeah, yes. yeah uh. there you go. Jayhawks. And Dr. Joe uh, Anton is the chief of uh, stem cell transplant program at the Dana Farber. It's great to uh, see you as well, sir. Thank you. It's great to be here. Uh, Darren, maybe you can tell us um, your story. Uh, you were diagnosed back in 2005. You are a freshman at Kansas, correct? Yes. But uh, before I go to that, um, my uh, social worker at Dana will kill me if I don't give a shout-out to 6A at the <laughs> hospital because they're – There you go. <laughs> give, yeah. give the shout-out. Yes. yes. You got to uh, Take care of them. Um, well, yeah, I was a freshman, and my freshman semester was going horribly. I got cut from the cross-country team, and – I found out at the end of, end of that year, November 22nd, that I had a uh, ALL, and from then on, I, I I got chemo, and then after that, it was like six months of chemo, and after that, I was I was able to go back to KU as a student for two years on maintenance chemotherapy, and then two two months before I was supposed to be done with that, I relapsed. And then um, I got back into remission at KU Med and then hooked up with Dr. Anton to get a stem cell transplant. Hi, maybe you can pick up the story right there, doctor. Hmm. Well, uh, because of Darren's uh, ethnic background, we couldn't find a match donor for him. So uh, Darren actually got an umbilical cord blood stem cell transplant from, uh, from uh, the uh, public registry, which uh, was, is a tremendous resource for us. This is something that uh, the research that we've been doing at Dana-Farber, as well as the other cancer centers across the country, have have allowed to happen over the course of the last few years. Five years ago, uh, someone like Darren would not have had any opportunity. We would, he would have just been on palliative chemotherapy. But we were able to perform the stem cell transplant last October, actually on Halloween, and uh, he's done magnificently, and he's uh, getting ready to go back to school in the uh, in the fall. And I think that the uh, this is a a, uh, a real concrete example of what the research dollars um, produce. They produce somebody who was uh, in very serious shape, who uh, really did not have much of a future, to someone who's going to go back to school and hopefully live a very long time. How are you feeling these days? I feel pretty good. Good. I hope I look good. Um, no, you look good. <laughs> I look fine. <laughs> You're styling, don't worry. Hey. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I feel pretty good just looking back, just... I guess I got my stem cell transplant on Halloween, and um, it was pretty bad. I mean, I've been through some some tough st stuff. I've been going through this for four, almost four years now, and um, it was the most difficult thing out of all the other chemo I've ever had. How do you deal with? How do you how do you deal with it? How do you how you got to be positive? How do you how do you laugh every day? How do you how do you do all of those things that? When you talk about being positive, it's going to give you the right frame of mind to be able to lick this thing. How do you well, do? It? You got to have a good support system like my family and especially my mom. Cause nice job, mom. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to have a good staff like Dr. Anton. He'll, he's the only doctor I've I've had a lot of doctors. He's the only one that'll that'll dance. He'll, <laughs> he'll do a little boo boo. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at you. <laughs> Uh, doctor, the TV cameras are on no, if you'd no, like no, to no, try no. right now. <laughs> yeah. That's a private matter. But yeah. <laughs> Remember, it'll be on YouTube for yeah, 50 exactly. years. It's the only issue exactly. you have to worry about. There's but but you're the one that's still dealing with it. And I, I hear everything you're saying, and there's no question. You, you've got a wonderful support system and family, and they've been behind you, and the doctor has been behind you. But you're the one that's in the trenches every single day, and you're yeah. the one that has to deal with it. Thank God, because of these people, they have the techniques. They have the research now. There are answers where there weren't answers before, but you're the one that every single day has got to face that world when the sun comes up and you got to deal with it. And that's what I'm trying to wonder. How do you, how do you get through it? How are you able to maintain that, uh, that great frame of mind? Because it sounds to me like you've got a great attitude about it. Well, you've got to keep doing the things that you like. I mean, I always think there's like an, an old Darren and there's a new Darren, and I want to keep on with the old Darren wanted, you know? And then it's not only about me, it's about 
them and friends and family. I mean, I'm not the only one going through the trenches. It's, it's as tough on me as it is on them, I think. I read you're a color, uh, a, 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 you're a comic book illustrator. So you, you, you do the, the entire coloring work of illustrations. Do you have an old Darren and a new Darren character yet? <laughs> no, <laughs> no that's, that's for fun, that's for fun. Hopefully someday they'll, they'll come to life, but so right you, now it's, it's it, industrial design. So, you, so you're getting back to school, yeah. going back to Kansas, looking forward to that? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's, it's going to be fun. I like, I like school. I like I just like doing work. And now, do you still have friends there, like people that you met maybe a freshman year, or are those are they? There are some still there. I mean, most. Of, I'm 22 now, and all the guys I went in with are most of them are graduated mm -hmm. now. But I guess I gotta be the old guy. I meet some new <laughs> friends. <laughs> so, doctor, doctor, how does this work? He's gone through the uh, uh, the transplant. How does this work going forward? What does he take? What medication does he take? How does he stay healthy now? Well, he stays healthy the way you and I stay healthy, you know, eating right and getting some sleep and take, doing what his doctor tells him. I think that, uh, you know, we're, I'm hoping that he'll be off all of his medications by October, and certainly by this fall, he should be on very little in the way of, uh, on the way of, uh, of uh, meds. That's great. That's terrific. It's good to see that everything is going well. Now, you moved from Lawrence, Kansas. Do you move to the western part of Massachusetts? Is that true? Well, my parents, yeah, my parents live in, in uh, outside of Springfield. Oh, nice. Mm. So nice. Dana Farber was the best fit. I was going to say, for the transplant. We're, we're the connection. Where did you get that connection? When you moved to yeah, the western part here. of the state, obviously, did that have something to do with uh, the fact that uh, the hospitals were here? No. I'm, um, Step up, Dad. Go ahead. Yeah, um, my employer is in, in northern Connecticut. So, um, and when he relapsed, uh, we brought him back here for treatment. And we did a lot of research. And as we did our research, you know, Dana Farber, was top of the list, so it just worked out. We were here, and Dana Farber's here, and this is the best place for him. So. No, there's no question; it's the yep. best place, and you got to the right spot at the mm -hmm. right time. And we got the, the right, right man. Yeah, the you right got doctor. The right man there, and maybe he'll take us out with a little dance. Dance and doctor. I don't think that's happening. Get it. <laughs> wow. I don't think that's happening. Hey, thank you we very much, Darren. Thank you very much for sharing thank your you. story, best your family, and Dr. Anthony. Thank you very much. We really yeah, thank you. It. Thank you. Thank Continued you. success to you. Thanks. Right. Good luck, Darren. Thanks an awful lot. Have fun back at school. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. We got to take a quick break, and then we're going to come back. We got lots of stories to tell you during the course of the afternoon. You'll hear more, uh, like Darren's story. You're going to hear from a lot of different celebrities.